Hello and welcome to this video guys. Today we're going to look into lazy loading routes and we're going to show you how you can do it and why you should do it. So the first thing we want to do is essentially creating a, a new module. So we can go ahead and use the terminal. We can say ng generate module and we'll give it the na name account and we want to add some routing so we can just pass in the routing flag. So once this is done it should actually create a new module, a new folder with these uh, two files within. So we can generate a new folder, we'll call it pages, and we'll generate a new component within the pages, we'll generate the uh, account component. So let's see, once this is done, we should have a account component within the pages folder, we should have some routing and so on. So we can straight ahead just r jump into the created route. So what we want to do is essentially say, we want to say, hey, when you're hitting the, the empty path, we want you to just navigate to the account component that we had. So if you have worked with Angular before, you would be pretty much used to this way. So in order for us to actually point towards this, we need to go to the app module, uh, sorry, the app routing module. And from here, we can actually point towards the, the, the right accounting module. So we can say, hey, when we hit the account path, in this case, we want to load the children, which in this case, it's going to be the module that we're essentially going to import from account module. So you're going to point towards the module and then you're going to load it in this way. So what happens essentially is that when we hit this path, it will make sure that it loads this chunk of code. Unless, let's say for instance, we're never going to navigate to account, then there's no reason to actually load this in. So this is where lazy loading comes in, into play. So this should make it possible to navigate towards slash account, which essentially now just should print uh, account works, which is the the actual component that we actually created. In many cases, many people, I want to say that you, you're not supposed to import the account module within the app module because then you're essentially breaking the logic. And the way to actually try this out is that we're going to the uh, going to the account module and we're going to add the constructor here. And within the constructor, we're going to just print console log loaded account module. All right. In this way, we can we can open our we can open our console and we can say now it has in fact loaded the account module because we're actually on the account round. But w what happens if I reload the page now? It should not in fact load it. So as you can see here, it does not actually call the loaded loaded account module, which is exact behavior we want. So if I would now go to account, you'll see that it essentially comes here. It loads the module with all of the declarations and so on, and just to prove you why you should not import it so let's go to the home route once again you can see no console log here but as soon as you go ahead and import the account module here you have broken the logic that we wanted to achieve from the beginning so you should not import the module within the app module but rather use the route module to point towards the right place and you can always test what's being loaded by add, either adding console log or you could use the debug feature within chrome so that, my friend, is how you lazy load your components and, and f different features. Thank you for watching. All the best. Bye.